Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And in this video I just want to show you my favorite place to find rubies, which you'll need uh, in combination with the uh, gel sack to make aerogel, which is an ingredient used in many things, including the prawn suit. So I'm just in my starting area here, and we're going to head slightly west of north. So it's useful to have a compass, but you and you may also want the, just the basic standard sea moth for this, but I'm just going to use a sea glide. So I'm heading uh, about 800 meters slightly west of north. So I'll probably speed up the, uh, the journey there just because it takes a little bit. You'll pass, uh, you'll have life pod 3 kind of on your left as you, as you head there. Now we're heading down to about two, a depth of about 200 meters. So that's why the regular sea moth is fine. You'll get, you'll get down to about 190 and then you can just swim around. And I've used uh, an observatory on a base to uh, mark all these rubies. Now the observatory is a really useful uh, building. So I often build a kind of a mini base with just an observatory. And then I search for rubies. I'll do a separate video about the observatory sometime, but. So the rubies are on these floating mini islands. And there's a giant uh, aurora wreck here. I've made it daytime just so you can see things a bit easier. So there's a big wreck here. And if we just keep following, these little mini floating islands, they have caves inside of them. So here we're only at 200 meters and we'll head inside. And here we are. These little red things are rubies. And there's quite a few around here in these little mini caves. There's one up here. And there's a, there's a few of these uh, mini floating islands. So there's another one down this way. this way. <laughs> this is southeast of the first one I found here. Now there are sharks a little bit deeper here so you got to be careful. I've marked the area off with a beacon just to make it easier easier to find. So here's my beacon and here's another little cave. So right now the starting area is 800 meters south of us, as you can see. So let's just head in here. Here's some more. Ruby, Ruby. And a few more up here. So quite a few. So we're back at the uh, starting location, your crash pod. And I want to show you one other place that I really like to find rubies. And you're going to head uh, the midpoint between southwest and west. And we're going about 1,200 meters. Now, you don't need the sea moth for this, but it would help. Sea glide will get you there just fine. So I'll speed up the footage uh, on, my, on my way there. Okay, we're getting close. You can see uh, I built a scanner room close to it so we could see all the uh, locations of the rubies and there's a whole bunch of them. So we're continuing kind of midpoint between southwest and west. Now there are warpers around here so you got to be careful. So here we are. This is the sea treader area. 
One of them's kind of trapped on my base here. But if we look around here, we'll see there are a ton of rubies. And they're just found, they're found on these, um, these kind of outcroppings here. There's also gel sacks here, so very handy. All you need is one, grab a seed, and you can grow your own in the external grow bed. But there's lots of rubies here. Rubies, rubies. They're all along the walls inside here. And then back this way, there's kind of a cave system and there's a whole bunch of them. They're just everywhere. Now this is 300 meters down, so it's a little bit deeper than the first location, but there's a very good supply of them all over. And there is a warper that kind of was on the outside of this area, but you'll be able to hear him and avoid him. So, so I'll put the exact location uh, up on the screen. You can also find it just hitting uh, F1. There's a uh, shows your camera world position. Now, if you're trying to get your bearings to where that location was, just uh, just east of that location is a giant wreck. So there's this big wreck here. So pointing back to the uh, starting location, it's about 1,400 meters northeast. And then the rubies are back that way about a couple, couple hundred meters. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, rubies are super useful. Um, in combination with the gel sacks, you can build the aerogel which is used for a bunch of stuff. So I hope that helped. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.